we're alive. Okay, right? here we are. Yes, we are fully alive. So welcome, welcome to this uh, interview. We call it a uh, hot seat because it's uh, supposed to be hot and I'm sure it will be very hot. And here today, myself, uh, Mila Sergikova, I have uh, two very special guests. Um, Ross um, and Jean from STL Box, uh, they join us today in order to discuss uh, latest news updates and most importantly, uh, urgency about the next five days, guys. We have only five days to do some actions. And if we're not going to do them in five days, trust me, you will regret not doing it. So make sure that you find the time, you join this uh, stream, or you can join from the Facebook. Also, I share it on my uh, business page on uh, Instagram also should be the link to join. So make sure that you are here and you listen. There are some maybe questions you have, uh, you would be able to put them on a Facebook and I would be able to uh, give you some answers or otherwise we will do another sessions on the questions and answers. But let's not waste any of the time any further. I would like to uh, pass the word to Jean or, or Ross, um, depends, I guess, who, who would like to come first. Uh, but before doing this um, little introduction of um, Estel Box, uh, we met, as I mentioned a million times before, in Dubai in one of the exhibition where guys had attracted my attention, uh, having these big letters, 50,000 spent on ST or research, which probably now even more than that. And um, like, I really like the um, concept. I like their uh, character of the company, character of the people, big hearts and uh, expertise in this field with both Ross and Jean have shown us for working together over a year now. So uh, moving fast forward from exhibition to, uh, to more business relationship, then uh, more like partnership relationships. And today, uh, you know, like uh, we call this term, our company married each other because there are so many angles that we cooperate, um, like we both add massive value to each other. And we only have five days, guys. Remember this number, five days to do something special, which then will be gone as a part of the history. So without further ado, um, I would like to pass the, the microphone and to stage this hot seat uh, to okay. Ross or Jean, where I want you please share a little bit about um, Solby ID and in general, uh, what will happen after this, uh, you know, magical number five, five days will stop very soon. And then what, what expected to people to have and a little bit of background about <laughs> what they can get themselves into. Yeah, so uh, thank you. Thank you, Mila. Let me start, if you don't mind. So just to remind that my name is Jeannie Jeff. I'm CEO and co-founder at Starbucks. And what we do, and for the last five years, we're focusing on the subject of asset tokenization, right? Real-world asset tokenization, security tokenization, security token offering. And we, yes, we have built uh, quite a substantial expertise in that field. We have a numerous clients around the world. There's much more to be done that has been done because tokenization is a new concept. And our main idea and the driver is to basically bring tokenization to, to the global public where any business can enjoy tokenization, can spread their, their, their securities, can fundraise globally, can have multiple hundreds thousands of investors around the world and this is the this is the concept where you have an asset right and once you say it's tokenized what does it mean you you, you put this asset on the blockchain where this this tokens right right they, they, they become real world assets tokens on the blockchain which can be easily traded which can be easily bought sold transferred and this is a huge milestone that we that we're accomplishing because it's not just the expertise that we have but we are a tech company, so we build the technology for this. And uh, now it's a, it's a, it, it looks like an ecosystem because there's a management software that allows these securities to be issued, to be managed, to be transfer, transferred. And that's 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 a uh, one of one part of the ecosystem we're building. We have already built, and we're, we're actually one of the first ones to build a decentralized exchange on the Binance Smart Chain for security tokens. And we have the progress protocol, something that would ensure compliance and ensure uh, regulatory safety for people who 
you know, they, they don't know how regulations work. So we take these rules and we put them on the blockchain so people don't have to think how it works, but they should be safe enough and we will build this technology. And you mentioned about the Solvi, absolutely. And this is our this is our diamond in the in the in the ecosystem because because we start with Solvi. The onboarding to the ecosystem starts with Solvi. So if you are if you would like to invest and to touch you know real world assets, the Solvi would be the first entry point because what it does, it's the verification mechanism. You can't have you can't own uh, a security token being anonymous, right? Because it's it's a, it's, a, it's a corporate part of the company, so you have to be verified, you have to be whitelisted, you have to be a decent person, and the Solby solves that problem with the KYC operator. And once the person is successfully successfully passed the verification, the Solby makes sure that this is written on the blockchain. So with the wallet that you have, right? With the wallet that that's the blockchain wallet which is verified. Now you can go to any product, any client, any uh, client within Starbucks ecosystem and use it as a single entry point. Like you sign in with Google, right? You sign in with Google, you go everywhere with Google. This is the same, but in the web tree. It's a, it's a great concept. It's with just the beginning. The adoption is massive because people are understanding the benefits of Web3. The Web3 technologies evolve pretty, you know, pretty fast. The adoption, we're talking about 250 millions of active wallets already in the, in the world. And most of these wallets are anonymous, right? Nobody knows who they are. Right. But real world, uh, real world assets, they are, you know, they're entering the market. And in order to, you know, our goal, our aim is to have a certain proportion of that wallet, the 150 million that will be rising. Some of that proportion will be validated by us, by by Solby. So yeah, who is in the beginning of this journey absolutely will have will have uh, certain benefits of the journey. And we yes, we're building and we continue to build this the, the ecosystem. And thanks, you know, thanks to you, and thanks to our partners, we you know we're on the fast track on this. So thank you, Ross. I'm passing yes. the mic to you, my friend. Exactly, exactly. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Mila, for your introduction and it is a pleasure to be here and to participate in a new format in a hot seats and we're happy to share the last insights and last updates because you're perfectly right that it is only several days left and uh, their private sale phase two will be closed by the end of the may and it's like the last chance to participate uh, since uh, we started our collaboration right and provided the unique opportunity uh, based on the terms uh, that we agreed, especially for, for your community, right, uh, to participate in Solby. We are moving forward according to our promises, according to their uh, our roadmap, uh, and following the interest by the investors and the community that is supporting us. And just in two months, I'm just uh, currently at this moment recognized, just in two months, uh, we had a lot of activities, business activities around the world. First of all, I visited ABC Summit, by the way, where I met also the Armand uh, and Valentin, because Tobox uh, was selected as one of the best startups uh, with its own uh, booth. And also we were included in the top five companies of the year by ABC Summit, and it was a great venue to collaborate and find new uh, uh, partnership opportunities. And also it was a uh, very efficient time to work together with you and Arman uh, in respect of FinTech portfolio STO that we're planning to de deliver uh, in the middle of June, right? And following the roadmap as well. And then I was in Vietnam, right? Where uh, we launched the Solby ID product just after three months uh, since we started the development and it is also was a big milestone for Solby and of course for your community and your platform because we executed what we promised and now all of the people who purchased the identity is able to get it right to get to mint the SBAD decentralized identity to their wallet and enter what enter their Starbucks ecosystem fintech portfolio STO and all of their upcoming STO of the Stobox clients. 
and in Vietnam it was a great time. It was very well organized event, and it was a pleasure to meet community not only on the webinars but face to face and answer all of their questions. And just a few days ago, I arrived from Istanbul, where I participated in Blockchain Economy Forum, and uh, also I conducted uh, several meetings with our clients from Qatar. It is a multi-billion company and we signed this deal that will do tokenization with us. And also I had a few meetings with our Turkish clients. It is like one of the biggest developers in Turkey. And I also signed this deal for tokenization. So more and more people are coming, uh, clients are coming, businesses, recognized businesses around the world. And of course, it was a great uh, opportunity to speak uh, to their uh, recognized exchanges and the launchpad platform because Turkey is very well established in respect of representative of their exchanges. And we now have a lot of communication with tier one exchanges in respect of potential listings and communication about the Solby. Because as we have, according to our roadmap, we finalizing sales phase one that is already finished. <laughs> then we finalizing sales phase two that will be finished by the end of the May. And then we're moving forward to their public round and to the listings. So by the end of the May, as I mentioned, we will finish the round. That's why it is last opportunity to join because on the public round and on the listing, it will be much different terms and it is it will be outside, outside the MLCI. It will be in other communities. So we're moving forward. And also my our partner, Boris, the third co-founder of Solpi and Stobox, participated in Mexico in the biggest uh, crypto conference uh, it was a crypto fest to loom <clears throat> because boris was invited by our client candela uh, we tokenizing with them like the luxury villas in tulum and our client launched its uh, its own sto that we uh, developed uh, from the main stage of the event and boris was there boris was one of the speakers one of the case speakers and we have received a lot of positive feedback from the local community in respect of tokenization. And we see a big interest and big potential in that region. And it will be a pleasure for us to contribute to the establishment uh, and uh, evolvement of their economy of that region. And it is also a big, big potential because we see that tokenization now is trending. And also just a few minutes ago, few minutes ago, I saw the text in Twitter that the most recognized media in security tokens, it is security token markets, uh, conducted a, a, a <laughs> video materials, videos, uh, their publication about the case that we did with Candela, about their real estate tokenization of luxury villas in Tulum. So we like have now uh, 10 plus mentions in Twitter from the official accounts about case that we conducted. And I really hope that when we will deliver and you will start your own STO, we will face the same reaction from the industry, right? Uh, because it could be a great case where uh, a big community can participate uh, in, in, in one STO. So as you can see, we have a lot of updates and because we have a lot of traction each week something happens because for example just a one week ago stobox was included in top 15 fintech startups from the new york by tech ventures and we were together in this list with consensus that <laughs> that released metamask uh, with meta labs is one of the big recognized companies that developing the project and Stobox it is included in the list of these companies so every week something happened and by the way <laughs> we don't have the capacity to publish all of the things that are happening around us because uh, it's like it's like network and it's like the cycle of the activities that never stops uh, it's like the chain of the activities and it is great that we, for the last five years, developed our company uh, 
uh, and we are on the stage on on the stage of development where a lot of things are happening without our engagement i mean the publication in medias uh, the recognition of starbucks uh, it is a pleasure for us when the clients inviting us to mexico to istanbul to vietnam and i think it is a great benchmark to moving forward because tokenization trend it is just started blackrock started mentioning about it but we were five years before the blackrock so it's a big potential in this industry and of course so be playing a crucial role in our ecosystem because it is ticket to our bus and our bus it is our ecosystem no ticket no bus right because it is <laughs> compliance because of the legal procedures we cannot avoid it and what we did it's like the convenient way to enter the ecosystem of tokenized assets of the as dashboard of, of the primary issues of the platform that you will uh, that you will conduct for the your STO fintech portfolio of GS of over the secondary market venue right to be able to have the chance to interact with this and to use it because regulation is coming and adoption is coming and if you know what tokenization is what is STO what is the shares it is a big a privilege to you because you will have a chance because you're already on the market to get additional profit from it because you will be educated you you know where to see how to see how to buy how to sell and how to have it in in your wallet right so it is a big advantage uh, in compared to other people who will join uh, soon the industry mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Ross. It's been really amazing to see uh, the journey of Estelbox uh, for the last year. As I mentioned, we work together. And as you correctly said, there are so many uh, content and news and development around your company. So it's really uh, proud. I feel like really proud of being your uh, business partner. Uh, so like our community has participated in the whitelist. And I can see there are a few comments on a Facebook um, about, you know, uh, what is compulsory, what is not, and uh, like why we need to solve the ID. And we spent lots of um, time previously on the webinars explaining all this. So if you guys feeling like you missed some information, please go ahead and watch the previous webinars. But I think um, the most important uh, to know that um, nobody forced you to do anything that you don't like. Uh, it's always been your choice. Uh, the question is, do you have to buy? No, you don't have to. You should buy? Yes, I believe you should because this gives you lots of advantage. It gives you lots of opportunities. Like Ross said, uh, Estelbox has been a benchmark together with the people who um, like represented the company like Metamask. Now, uh, imagine to be the person who actually invested and become co-owner of the Metamask before it's actually hated IPO. Like it's huge. Like, don't you see the parallels? Like here, <laughs> I think it's quite obvious. And uh, like, I believe like it's um, education is important to for people to understand and grasp the opportunity. Because sometimes people think, um, you know, what it's there for me on a very short term. But if you put this what it's in it for me for the long term, you actually realize that you have amazing instrument. This instrument can give you monetization. You also would be able uh, soon to become co-owner. And please explain a little bit about your plans about um, Stobox STO. And uh, of course, the um, question about um, will we have the FinTech uh, STO on Stobox? Yes, we will have 100% guys. So like, this is not anymore the question, what if and uh, you know, like, uh, will it be ever? It will be, and we already have a date. So if you heard uh, between, or if you can read between the line, uh, so the June uh, already been announced, and on today actually the more precise uh, timings was mentioned. So I'm checking uh, how carefully you're listening. But um, the ability to us to work with the Esto box and be an early um, company or like early adopter from the promotional point of view, it's amazing. Like they could have worked with so many other companies, but they choose us because uh, we have a great community. We have a, like we work with the people um, like with the entire world and we create win-win where the services can complement our STL and our community can complement the infrastructure development. So that's why uh, don't think about, you know, like um, what's in it for me right now and do I have to buy? No, think, think differently. Think what this can give you, especially in the long term, how this company is developing and you could become 
co-owner of this company. Like, I think it's awesome. So maybe if, um, uh, Jean, you can explain a little bit what does it mean to uh, become like co-owner of uh, Estelle Box, like security token, did I hear you correctly? <laughs> so can you give a bit of light on this topic? Yes, absolutely. Uh, look, let's, so let's, let's start with the, where a person may invest or can invest their funds, you know, their privately owned money savings where this money can go to and if you actually look at the variativity of the options they're quite limited right so they're they're public stocks right public stocks after ipo traded on nasdaq you know london stock exchange and everybody's playing this but dividends you they're usually not paid dividends it's usually a, a trading uh trading mechanism if you're not a trader it would be difficult for you to to you know to be successful in this uh, in the in the IPO right in in the public sector. Okay, you can put the money into the bank, but then you understand that the inflation just eats eats the 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 you know the the whole story, and it doesn't make any sense. And then you okay, you put in the crypto, but there's a lot of you have to be very educated to make sure that you don't find a scam, right? You don't get you don't get lost nobody you won't lose your money so at the end of the day a regular person finds it quite difficult so you know to be a part of you know to to earn th as a passive investor it is difficult right because again because of inflation barriers to entry and so on but at the same time people are happy investing into the well-growing private businesses i don't know invest into the bar invest into the restaurant invest into the people and the communities around you invest into real estate for example how how much money would you need to invest into real estate of course it depends on the location <laughs> but come on try to invest into dubai real estate you would need at least five hundred thousand dollars right and less than one percent of the world has that cash and those who have they already fine we're talking about the rest 99 percent of people who have much less than this amount where do they invest and the concept of tokenization it opens an opportunity for any business around the world to fundraise locally and globally so these people may be starting investing into the security tokens of decent companies you know they see on the youtube right so today with the you know with, with, with the amount of social media that we live in to run a business openly, it's quite, you know, it's quite easy because you have your YouTube channel, you stream what you do, you know, you cook, you dance, you know, anything. And, you know, technology gives them an opportunity. So the investment into that kind of people and in this kind of businesses are becoming very much lucrative and interesting for the regular person. But I, I don't know people, I can't, I can't do it with the paper-based securities. I can't fly around the world like you know there's no technology so Starbucks brings this technology where and any business can create security tokens in a compliant manner and you know with the respect to regulations and where people who look at this business and they say okay I would not play uh with the Nasdaq because I don't know it's difficult you know or I would rather not put all the money into the bank because the inflation eats it all and I would you know be careful with the playing with the crypto but here is real world assets right <laughs> there's a tokenized real estate and I can buy now Dubai apartment with a ten dollars check right I don't need to have five five hundred thousand I need to have a hundred dollars but there's a five hundred thousand people like me investing that you know each hundred dollars and that's crazy just in power Right, so you can be a, a small person, can be a part of a big project, and you can start earning, and you can start benefiting. I don't want to say as rich, but truly saying yes, as rich, because rich becoming rich and poor becoming poorer. Why? Because of the instabilities, because the opportunities to raise and to benefit and to invest into something good is usually done. It's open for the rich people, rich becoming more rich. Whereas small people, they're always, you know, they're always at the end. They always have the most inflation. They're always being screwed by the banks. They're always being scammed and so on and so forth. So we just want these people to benefit. And of course, we, uh, you asked about our STO. 
and we can't just do something unless we did it on ourselves so we we walk the talk and we uh we we, we are registered in us we're us based company in wyoming and we have tokenized our equity so our Starbucks company is represented in a form of, uh, of of a number of security tokens, right? Every token is a share. And instead of going into VCs and instead of kind of fundraising paper-wise, we just manage our relationship, our founders, we as founders, we as a team, we as investors, we as communities, we manage our relationship uh, via so via equity put on the blockchain via our products using our products we start, we actually have tokenized our company almost three years ago and uh, we have a bunch of investors around the world we never met these people we they just looked at us they see okay i want to be a part of it they pass kyc they send us money they receive the tokens they receive reports on a quarterly basis they know what we're doing. They're following. I know that they're following our streams. They're following our Telegram, Instagram, Twitter. They're happy. Okay, they're happy. They see how it grows. And moreover, uh, sorry, moreover, uh, we have never conducted calls with them. Yeah, we never. That's how tokenization works. Yeah, we never spoke to people. And uh, once we will be on the DAX, right, on the decentralized exchange, uh, later, later, later this year. It means that this person, if he needs money, right, he wants to exit. He doesn't need to go around the world and try to sell this this contract, this paper-based contract at the discount. He can go on a mobile phone and just sell his position back and then tomorrow buy again. So it's a free market and it's a free decentralized market. And the good thing is you don't need to be, to be a public company. You don't need to write an IPO to benefit from the power of community because with without the tokenization the only way to kind of become huge is to become public but but once becoming public first of all there's a lot of regulatory issues around it you have to be a well established you have to and it's a very costly procedure on average the ipo would cost around three million dollars and it would cost you another three hundred thousand a, a year just to run that thing because you have to have, I mean, there's a lot of things, compliance, legal laws. You know, so that's a, and a bar in, in somewhere in London doesn't, doesn't have that amount of money. But the opportunity to, to attract millions of people and the hundred thousands of people is still wanted. So the tokenization opens that opportunity. You remain a private company in most cases. And we build this technology and again as i said we, we we walk the talk so if you believe in starbucks you also might join our cap table as well it's it's, it's free and easy <laughs> It, yes. It's amazing. It's amazing how you put Jin about uh, you know accessibility to to people, and I think this resonates uh, with our community a lot because we talk about a uh, new economic evolution of the world as the mission, and what does it mean is to unite people under um, one umbrella of different uh, brands, companies, services where people can become a client. Uh, so they can take advantage of the product because they like the product. They can uh, build a business, become entrepreneur, so they can create additional income stream by promoting the product they uh, feel in love with or they use. And number three, uh, which is the most important, co-ownership. So they can become co-owners of the product which they use, which they promote, and be proud co-owner. And this, uh, this all created, the concept of the new was created to exactly address the issue, as you said, that a richer becomes I'm richer and poor stay poor uh, you know there's so many countries um mm -hmm. like in the world who like um like i visited and you guys visited and you see you know how many countries now almost uh, you know middle class disappearing and this is big challenge so like um i also a very big believer that um tokenization uh, it's a very big step forward for smaller companies for medium companies to have access to the market but it's also vice versa for uh, ordinary person to become co-owner and uh, that's why um guys uh, like uh, concept community you're asking the questions about uh, some you know like challenges verifications and etc like 
I don't think you are um, putting attention on the right details. Like um, everybody here today, um, were like all with us and being uh, with the, our community and support the new economic revolution in the world, those who will receive FinTech token um, on STR platform DS swap, you will receive it, um, your tokens, uh, as soon as you complete verification. If you cannot complete verification today, um, like you can come back to this in, within the week, within the months, within the two months, there is no rush now or never. You need to understand this, the doors will be open and the doors will be open for everybody who wanted to become co-owner of um, FinTech portfolio, for everybody who wants to be co-owner of all the companies which are on the platform of DSFOP. And I also uh, look at this real estate company Company you mentioned it's really really a very cool amazing concept and i believe that's uh, you know blended together um idea of the new economic coalition of the world and now have a platform which can actually address their ownership side without investing three millions in ipo this is what the biggest advantage of our cooperation and this is what our people need to understand that um, we could have go for different options to go for IPO, NASDAQ, but then guys, it doesn't guarantee that, uh, you know, the company would have been accepted. It doesn't guarantee that, you know, the shares will be skyrocketing. There are other attributes which um, influence the price for shares. But having the partnership with the ESTO box, with the expertise, with the compliance and have a platform uh, which can um, which can invite initial investors and also have a platform for P two P option. I think it's it's amazing. The guys have invested you know millions into this technology, and today you're also uh, aware that you can become co owner of the Esto box as well. So like, don't waste the time uh, on you know discussing what is possible, what is not. Just go there and check yourself, get yourself verification. If it doesn't work, be patient. You know, like because verification for the STO, well, excuse me, it's slightly more difficult than verification to buy the sockets. You know, from the shop. Like it's different level. Uh, the business all together so be patient be precise and um look from the angle of the ownership now you have a platform which will confirm your ownership not in the words but in a through in equity in instruments which there will be given to you regulated and compliant and this is the most important so ross uh, the quick Very question good. to you like, can you just um, uh, maybe specify what are the biggest um, benefits uh, from people to use the platforms like DSWAP and um, like what is the unique that you have? Um, and that's why you invited to so many events that other companies still did not get it. So it's almost looked like you guys cracked the pot. So what is it? <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Mila. Uh, thank you, Mila, for your great questions. And I think it is complementary to what Jin already mentioned, but from different angle. Why? Um, why our products are good or how they different from others? The crucial thing and the most important point that, that we created this business five years, five years ago because we want to conduct our company operation through the tokenization. Not someone, but we in Storebox. That's why we was the first case when we developed our platform, because it was the main idea to tokenize ourselves. Why? Because we saw a big potential in this industry. And at that time, at that time when we started this, uh, no one knew what STO meant. STO, what is it? <laughs> STO, uh, nobody. But currently we see a big traction. And that's why we created a DS dashboard, because we want to conduct our business in this way. I mean, distribute the shares between the founder, distribute the shares between the team and reward them on the KPI basis uh, annually to motivate them, to attract investments, not by the face-to-face -face meetings or phone calls, but completely online through the one window. It was our main idea to do it for ourselves. And then we had an opportunity to show to other how, how it works. And it is very important. Why we created DSWAP? Because we want to conduct the secondary market in form of DEX, not going to NASDAQ or some centralized venues, paying hundreds and millions of thousands of dollars just for listing 
and have this certain requirements uh, for each company that will be listed there, but to use their modern, unique, progressive technologies. Okay, maybe that the, this technology is new for the general amount of the people, right? But it is innovation. It's how it works. You bring something new to the industry and f finding your market fit. That's what we did. And why we found it? Because we need it as a Starbucks. It is a main idea to build for ourselves, not for someone because they're paying for us. We want to conduct our operation through the tokenization. That's why we created a DSWAP. The same with Solby. Why we created this? Because we faced some, it is logical development of the ecosystem. We have 60 clients and it is 60 different companies with different platforms, different dashboards. Why different? Because each company have each rules. It is private company. They do whatever they want, right? Uh, what investors they uh, want to see, etc. And if I'm the common investor that, uh, that like all of their cases, the Stobok pro producing, I need to pass KYC 60 times. Why? And we created Solby to have one time pass KYC and then automatically enter all of our products and uh, all of our products that are in our ecosystem and all of their SEOs that we're producing. It is at end, it is not only about the store box. It is about every Web3 company that can use this technology, Soulbound. For example, your own Web3 solution that you will develop and started the developing, I mean the DAO, the coin setting in Web3, all of them have ability to uh, also uh, have their Solby technology and support Solby technology and uh, being compliant, right? The same with every bridge, with every wallet, with every blockchain. It could be any business on Web3 that can use Solbound ID because we, you know, we're solving the headache with the compliance. Now I have the DEX without any regulation. We have the legal laws that says that every transaction in Europe above, above 1,000 euro need to pass KYC and AML. And it is a headache for the businessman who hold this business. How I will fulfill it? It's like new processes are started, legal processes, consultation, etc. What they can do, they can plug in the Solby and being compliant. So I would also, answering uh, uh, sorry, the, the last comment. So to sum up answering your question, why it's so and why we have a big interest from the clients and uh, why we developed so efficient ecosystem because we developed for ourselves, not for someone who paid us. We paid it for us. Yes, thank you, Ross. I would also, I would also like to add that all great things, they start as an experiment. I mean, you never know where it goes. You just play with stuff. I mean, look what happened to ChatGPT. It started an experiment. Look, there's a technology. Let's see what can be what can be done. And now it's a ChatGPT. Okay, there's a problem. We don't know how it's gonna. We don't know all the solutions, but we are playing with the problem a daily, and we're experimenting with these problems, trying to find the solution. And again, this is our vision. Best things in the world they start not from the like pragmatic approach but they start as an experiment and as a fun as a joy as let's try let's let's do it let's let's you know let's fall that let's stand up and go go next for the next try and this is how 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 the rockets will be flying to mars the same you know <laughs> the same the same one and on and on and on uh, process of trying the same stuff as an experiment mm -hmm. so yes um, tobak started as an experiment <laughs> it, it's amazing you know you, you mentioned about um experiments and trials uh trial and error i guess it's not mm -hmm. always the smooth journey and i completely agree with you and if you have a look at the all amazing companies have ever been created uh it, like it's the the dreamers behind this company so people who try to solve the biggest problems the market has uh there's a saying that the the bigger problem you can address in the market the more value you can add to the market the more value you can add to the market the more attraction of the market you will have at the end of the day and attractions mean the clients the volume and you know revenue to the company so the the dreamers those who can solve the big problems are the winners 
And I've really seen um, amazing potential to work with you guys because um, you also apparently these uh, big dreamers who once created the technology for yourself because you had a, a challenge to a solve for yourself, but then you realize that there's so much you can add the value to other companies. You can be solutions for so many other companies in the world. And today in our um, uh, like in our portfolio, we have like company Global Unit Pay, for example, who I know they've been negotiating now with the, with the Ross to see how we can implement the Solby and Global Unit Pay as well. So there are so many things uh, which there can be a solution for many companies, but it's all started yeah. with a dream all started with a dream and uh for everybody who listen now uh, this stream and i can see that we have some people um live on the facebook on both accounts um there are like lots of um attractions there please put some nice um hearts and uh, fire emoji if you're still with us but i wish you to become really dreamers look at the world from another point of the um, you know shit happens what are we going to do but yes the shit happens you know there's a challenge how we can resolve this and if you have this mindset of person who's providing solution whatever it is maybe a solution for your for your wife or husband maybe a solution for your community maybe a solution for your town your your country or maybe a solution for the entire world like a steel box have with a, a compliance um, instrument but be dreamer because this is what driving people forward in any time and a good time and a bad time especially uh, never forget about your dreams and i would like to uh, wrap it up this hot seat with a one question um what are your dreams guys where you see the company is going further in the next maybe five or ten years what is the big why which is driving you which make you wake up every day work tirelessly to travel the world to talk to so many people not to sleep and always being on time with your targets what is there your biggest why for for the company yeah jean you will be the first because i already answered this question <laughs> from the main stage in vietnam and i'm very happy <laughs> share my thoughts after yours no it's the adoption of course adoption uh, i don't want to talk numbers i don't want to talk you know kpis uh, i know that today very few businesses are tokenized and they're eight billion people and we're not only just talking about tokenization of corporate securities. Look, you can tokenize time. Come on, you're a professional, and then you want to relocate, and you can tokenize thousand hours of your lifetime, uh, considered and insured, you know, with certain processes at the price of ten dollars. That's ten thousand dollars, and it may change your life via education, relocation via you know partnerships you have the money and then you can pay back once your price will be 50 dollars for example somebody will make five taxes on you why would you invest into companies if you may invest into people directly that's that's type of concepts that type of disruption it's not a result it's the process itself and more we can bring this type of not just the concerts, but the execution, the traction, more people can enjoy this, the more chemistry there will be in the world with, with something that we build, you know, better we better we live, you know, better we, we, we contribute. And I don't think it's ever ending. It's just, you know, this, this is a part of our lives. We live the, these lives. Of course, there's some times where you want to rest more or, or work more. Now it's more intense period or the less intense period. But this is just the vision and we're just on, on, on the track. And the main idea is to bring it as massive as possible. We need a lot of, we need millions of people benefiting from these technologies. We need millions of people. I want to have my wallet. I want to have Ross's hours here. I want to have your hours. I don't want to, why don't we need invoices? I'm a professional, you know, you can, I can spread this, my own personal tokens. I can be a part of the, and the Web3 actually allows this. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot of like bigger scale potential. And our dream is to capture this. Yes, Ross, please. Yeah, thank you, Jin, and thank you, Mila, by the way, for the great question about our dreams. I think it is, it is, it is very important. So I'm 
wake up every day and think, thinking about how many people we can help and how much value we can bring. Because I believe in community-driven businesses. Because you know, you have two worlds. The one world, it is like their uh, tokenization of the assets with the government. It's like trillions of trillions papers for someone in some jurisdiction. And it is a boring stuff. It is easy, boring stuff. What we believe and what we're looking for, it is a mass adoption where people can tokenize the bar on the street, the common businessman. And I'm thinking about every day what value we can bring. Because if I like this bar of the restaurants, why I cannot buy the shares of these restaurants that I'm going every day and attract more people and get profit from it? It is logical. And when we think about it, and if we will see on the entire world, it is millions of business that could be tokenized. And all of this five years, we just preparing ourselves for the <laughs> trend that is started. That's why, you know, when I'm talking with people face to face each time on the conference or when I have a very important meetings, a lot of people pointing out that I'm very strong during my pitch and they feel a big energy from it. Why? Because I really love it. And I really wake up every day because I want to realize it. I want to develop it because me and Gene and Boris, we want, we want to put in ourselves in the fucking history because nobody did it before. We want to open this opportunity for businesses in automated form to be able to tokenize themselves. And if they will do so, they will attract millions, trillions of dollars to the businesses. And in this case, we will contribute and develop the economic cycle in general because more money will be generated, more money will be created, more businesses will be developed and established uh, through the funds that they will attract. So it's really pushing me every day to conduct the calls and the webinars. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Cool. This is this is great. Well, thanks a lot, Ross, um, to share in your why and Jean also to um, share your uh, your dream. Why you guys um, working so hard every day and working with you closely? Uh, like we have follow up zooms almost every week. I can see you know how fast you guys moving forward, and it's amazing. It's an amazing example. And you know, um, like Grant Cardona said, you know, excitement costs you nothing. And it's a big thing of being excited, have a passion about what you do, because at the end of the day, um, like we are energy and we send uh, energy to around us. We attract certain people because of our energy. So like we have dear uh, community of the coin set and those who are maybe just um, watch this for the first time. We have only five days left before this project will be taken away from the coin set back office. Um, we will never come back to such an exclusive opportunity to promote um, Solby ID and have such a great prices as we have today. We will not have the opportunity anymore to run MLCI business on the top, which means that you're not just uh, using the product or becoming the co-owner of the product, but you also can build a business on the backbone of it. So the guy spent five years and the millions of dollars to create the product, which anybody in the world can today promote free of charge and earn money. So you're selling somebody intellectual property actually and you're earning money on it. Like it's, it's crazy. So I love the MLSAT concept because it gives people lots of opportunity, income stream, leverage. And when we have a product like um, uh, Solby ID, when we had an opportunity to work with a company like STO Box, these are the most desired products to be promoted because what you guys created is amazing. And I'm really I feel happy and proud of to know you, to work with you. And I'm very excited to see what will be the result after these five days. And of course, we have further plans for their cooperations, for the further stages. And we're gonna see each other on the next uh, meetings and Zooms about the DS dashboard implementation. And after we finish the sale of the um, Solby ID in the back office, then uh, we will move into the STO uh, product launch on STO Box platform, which is surely also excited. 
but don't miss the guys opportunity make sure that you promote it last five days are there they will finish very soon so be part of the biggest idea and the dreams which guys gene and ross has shared with you uh, let's support each other and move forward together to build new economic evolution of the world thanks a lot for your time guys i appreciate thank you and i thank see you very you. soon Bye -bye. Thank, you. Thank you. I think that the best, the best days are just ahead. Absolutely. <laughs> no five doubt. years in five days. <laughs> <laughs> this is good in topic for minutes. next. <laughs> yeah, for next <laughs> webinar. <laughs> Thank you very Thank you. much. Perfect. Thank you.